going to cover this morning and uh, if god allows i believe i will get one more youth sunday before we leave from here so in that message if i'm not able to complete this message today i'll be continuing the message the rest of the points in the next sunday next youth sunday so let us pray for that and also you know i i've just remi- remind you what are the things that we were i'm mean, discussing and learning uh from the word of god which was uh, mainly focusing for our youngsters and youth that this is already done okay this is already done so i'll just remind you through the i mean uh, the slides okay so we studied about strategies of devil and the ways to overcome it from second corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 and uh, it was saying that let not satan take advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his schemes and tricks or dis- devices or purposes and the second one and we learned about the negative the extreme thoughts about satan like uh, satan is not existing at all satan is behind every bush and all those things and we learned about many things about the the sources of temptation and enemies from ephesians chapter 2 uh, verses 2 and 3 and the next one we learned about let's be updated with the modern strategies of devil and i was not able to complete those points on that day i think i completed uh, the first point and the first point and second point attracted by the world the worldly style of worship and the second one was distraction from the spiritual things okay and uh, to, today i'm supposed to start from point number 3 but i'm not going for not going for that because i have another message related to this and we will be continuing from uh, point number 3 point number 3 um, maybe uh, from uh maybe in the next uh, i mean sunday next is your sunday in uh um this morning so i would like to i mean uh, speak something from uh i mean particularly two portions from the bible philippians chapter 2 verse 15 and deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 5 okay so the 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 theme which i have selected for you is uh, prove yourselves in the midst of corrupted and perverted generation prove yourself um uh, in the midst of the cr- crooked and perverted i mean generation so this is the main and important theme that we are going to i mean learn this morning so let us all uh, prayerfully sit in the presence of god and let's learn something that the what, what the lord i mean what the word of god is saying to us you know in philippians chapter 2 verse 15 the reason that i am uh, i mean uh, going through these portions and through these uh, main points is you know we have to understand what is happening outside and we need to understand what is happening in the world and uh, you know uh, what a, what a situation is the generation outside and what is the i mean uh, the, the corruption or perversion which is happening outside the world you know we we know something i um, mean about the spiritual things and we should know what is happening in the world in in this present generation then and there only we will be able to and our children will be able to or our youngsters will be able to and adults also will be able to stand for christ uh, i mean with that courage and confidence i mean so you know in in philippians chapter 2 verse 15 that we are reading so that you will prove yourselves to be blameless and innocent children of god above re- reproach in the midst of a crooked and per- perverse generation among whom you appear as lights in the world okay so this verse is particularly talking about what is happening outside the church maybe in the present generation what is happening you know we what we are supposed to be and like you know it says that you know you you will prove yourself so this is the time that we are supposed to prove ourselves who we are in the world in the world who we are we are supposed to prove that and also even in deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 5 also you know it says that um, they have dwelt corruptly with him they are no longer his children because they are blemished they are crooked and twisted generation you know when we see about the perversion of the people what is happening with the people we understand the perversion allengil endana nu malayalathil parnjirikkune eh endulla thalamariya vakrathayum kottumulla thalam alle vakrathayum kottumulla thalambara okay so the crooked and perverted generation okay so the outside world and we see the, the present generation outside you know there are a lot of crookedness and perversion is happening 
but the thing is you know how should be our children and how can we prove in the midst of this generation and that we are the children of god and telling them that we are the children of god we are standing for faith and we are standing for the biblical i mean values and we are standing for the biblical i mean standard i mean so let us think about that and just i was thinking you know perversion is not happening only today or only the present generation but it was there from the beginning itself you know in uh, in in book of sorry in the book of genesis that, that we understand that uh, even the perversion is starting from there you know after the i mean creation of man you know god was looking at the people and god said oh these people are perverted and they are perverting my word and they are perverting my uh, ideas and my purposes and they are doing what all the things that they wanted to do they are not obeying the word of god so from the beginning itself from the garden of eden itself this is happening and this is starting from there this is beginning from there and even there are some reason for that you know but today in this present situation it is in the peak you know the the, the perversion is happening it is in the peak and we understand it is very severe you know outside you know many things are happening in different areas it is in the peak and also we understand that we cannot do anything with these people i mean are the people when the people are perverted from the word of god when the people are going away from the presence of god but only one thing that we are going to do is you know you have to understand what is the reason that in these days in this end time or last time these things are happening outside why this is happening you know i was just thinking this is happening the perversion is happening not only in the outside world means the the, the outside the worldly generation but this also is happening sometimes in churches also in christianity also because you know there is a reason for that that is written in second timothy chapter 3 verses 1 to 5 endukondana ee andhikala thingane ullada irikkana sambhavangal porathu mathramalla sabakku agathu polum ingane ullada karyangal sambhavikkunu endukondana adinte reason endana nu avide ediyittunde endakkana but understand this second timothy chapter 3 verses 1 to 5 but understand this that in the last days there will be come Uh, there will be there will be coming times of difficulty uh, for people will be lovers of self lovers of money proud arrogant abusive disobedient to their parents ungrateful unholy heartless un unappeasable slanderers and without self control burial uh, okay br- brutal not loving good uh, what is that treacherous and l- reckless swollen with conceit lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of god having the appearance of godliness but denying its power avoid such people why apostle paul is telling to the i mean the you know the the, the people of god that you are supposed to avoid something which is because these things are happening outside and it should not come inside the church you know the things which is happening outside the things which is happening in the worldly generation that should not come into the church that is the reason that apostle paul is warning those people the children of god the believers that that you have to avoid all those things i mean let it be outside let not that come inside the church i mean so this is going to happen but at the same time i was just thinking can we eradicate or can we remove all these things you know what is happening outside and can we fight against the wickedness outside and can we fight against can our youngsters can uh, uh, fight against all those things and uh, i mean can we uh, i mean totally eradicate all the things all the perversion which is happening outside no we cannot but what the bible says i mean i am placing you in the midst of the generation to shine in front of them as a light because jesus said you are the light of this world right you are the light of this world and your purpose is to shine for jesus christ even in the midst of the generation i mean that's what we are reading in the in the gospel because the people are now tested and divided and bent from the truth of jesus christ so that's the reason Jesus said you are supposed to be lighting you know you, to, to to you are supposed to give light to the world and you are supposed to shine for Jesus Christ in this I mean wretched world when even you know I was just thinking Jesus 
uh, never said, okay, uh, after your salvation, I will take you uh, to, to, to heavenly places. You know, Jesus never said that. And Jesus said, I'm taking you, I'm selecting you and keeping you in this earth. Because you have something to do here. And you have a responsibility. You know, when uh, Jesus was I mean, doing his public ministry, I was just thinking, I mean, uh, it, it, was, it was very easy for Jesus to, I mean, say a word, say one word, eh? let everyone be saved. Eh? Jesus could do that, okay? But Jesus didn't do that. Why? You know, you know, if if he said, okay, let everyone follow me, let everyone follow me, and let everyone accept me, Jesus could do that, but he was not doing that because he was giving that responsibility to each one of us and saying that you are supposed to now perform, you are supposed to do something, and you have a responsibility. I'm giving, I mean, in your hands, the people outside, or the, I'm giving you all the people, the worldly generation in your hands, and you are supposed to do something in front of those people, in the midst of those people. Even, you know, when Jesus was uh, uh, preaching, and he said, like, uh, you know, uh, you go to all world, and the uttermost part of the world, and you have to Preach to the people and, uh, uh, I, mean, uh, um, I mean, you know, make disciples and uh, those who are believing uh, in, in Jesus, I mean, you can make them disciples and you can baptize them, all those things he said. But he didn't say, go to all world and preach the gospel, make everyone my followers. Did he say? No. Only those who are believing can come to Jesus Christ. Why Jesus said it? You know, Jesus was saying, go to the world, preach the gospel, and bring the people, baptize the people, make them disciples, but only those who are believing, they can follow me. Otherwise, there was many, many other shortcuts also that all the people can come to Jesus and following Jesus Christ. But Jesus was not looking for a shortcut. He said, this is the truth that you can go to the world and preach the gospel, bring the people if they are believing. The reason is, those who are believing in Jesus Christ, they will become the children of God. They will become the children of God. And after that, they have responsibility. But it's a responsibility, they are supposed to go outside. And they are supposed to shine for the Lord. And they are supposed to preach the gospel to the outside people. And if they are believing, let them also will be coming to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. You know, once uh, in the gospel we are reading that Jesus was praying like, uh, you know, oh Lord, uh, oh Father, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't want to say, I, I don't want to pray that, I mean, let, let I mean, all, all these people go to heaven. Or, uh, uh, you know, what was that verse maybe in John chapter, uh, John chapter 27 verse 15? Yeah. In John chapter 27 verse 15, we are reading that, Do not take them out of the world, but keep them from evil. Huh? Do not take them out of the world. Jesus was praying for his people, his disciples, to the Father and saying that, Do not take them out of the world. Do not take them out of the world. Do not take them out of the world. What do you think of them? What do you think of Tinmai abre ada dikka, ada bandam abre suci kena me. Alai agritya til nanda tinmai il nanda kertawa ni abre protect cie kena me na prarti cide. That means he was praying to his father, do not take them out of the world, but keep them from the evil, protect them from the evil. That means you know Jesus was saying, I know that if I pray something, my father will hear. But my responsibility is to pray for them that so that they will not be touched with. The evil things. And they are, they are not going to be in touch with the, the evil things. Rather, they are protected from the evil things. Hallelujah. And they will be safe and they are protected in the hands of God. And as the, I mean, protected in the hands of God, they are going to be, I mean, light in the world. Amen. So, let us, I mean, go through these verses. Maybe, I mean, some of the points that I would like to, I mean, share with you this morning is the next slide. Maybe, uh, Yeah, the areas were okay. So the, that point uh, point number two is one. Okay, so make it uh, maybe number one. Okay, the areas where perversion is happening in the present generation. Okay, so the area where perversion is happening in the in the present generation. 
You know, without, oh, okay, there is already, okay, yeah, okay, uh, you made it, okay. Uh, see, you know, there, there are many, other, many, I mean, areas that we can see outside uh, in the present generation that the people are perverting. So, we need to know that, otherwise, you know, we won't be able to stand for Jesus Christ, okay? We won't be able to, I mean, uh, shine for Jesus Christ, especially the youngsters and, uh, I mean, Sunday school kids. I mean, let us let's know something that what is happening outside, okay? So, what is happening outside, and then only we will be, I mean, able to, I mean, serve the Lord, uh, I mean, faithfully. So, the first thing that the perversion is happening, okay? science in the area. Okay? The science is perverted. According to Isaiah chapter 29 verse 16 that we are reading that, you turn things upside down as if the potter were thought to be like the clay, shall what is formed say to the one who formed it. You did not make me, can the pot say to the potter, you know nothing. Which means, you know, the, the area of science is totally perverted today. You know, there are many people saying that, you know, the, 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 the supernatural things are not happening in this world. Only the natural things are happening here. And the universe is not created by, the natural, by, by, by God. But everything is happening and everything is coming to the existence, I mean, by naturally. Okay? And there is no God, not the hand of God created all these things. And all these things are happening outside. You know, the present generation is always thinking, or the, the, the people, those who are not believing in God, they are thinking there is no God at all. And, the, and uh, God cannot do anything, all those things. Because, I mean, you know, when uh, John Engel was saying about the Big Bang Theory, right? You know, the Big Bang Theory, what is that? You know, they believe that, okay, there was an explosion happened uh, sometimes and, uh, you know, um, billions of years ago, maybe 13 billions of years ago, when some explosion happened, and that is the reason that the earth is, that the universe is there. You know, all these things are there. You know, our children are also studying all these things in their, in their, I mean, I mean, schools. But the same thing that we have to understand. You know, the, the other day, I was just thinking about, you know, if you say to your your, your children that, okay. This is, uh, I mean, uh, not good or something like, you know, when you're watching a video, when you're watching a movie, when you're playing a game, telling that, that okay, I'm gonna, uh, this is not good. Huh? This is not a good thing. It is wicked and it is sinful. You know, don't watch that or don't uh, go for that. Don't, I mean, uh, see that movie or, I mean, play that game. Then what will be their answer? Huh? They are saying, hey, what is that? You know, they might say to you one thing, you know, we are reading in Bible itself, these things are happening there. Okay? When we are reading Bible, there are wickedness the people are doing, even in the Old Testament, even in the churches also, in the Christian churches also, these wickedness are happening. There were people, even though they were known as the children of God, even though they were the members of the church, they were doing all kinds of adulterous things and all kinds of, uh, I mean, the things which is against God. You know, even it is written in the Bible, that we are, when we are reading Bible, we are getting that idea. Okay, then what is wrong with that? You know, if we are watching the ga movies or doing the game, you know, this is there. You know, our children are asking the same question today. This is there at the same time. What is our answer? You know, all these things are already mentioned in the Bible because you are not supposed to be away from the presence of God. You know, when we know that and when we understand this is happening in the world, and when we know that, even these things are happening in the midst of the children of God also. We are supposed to be standing for Jesus Christ. Amen. We are not supposed to do all those things. We are not supposed to do all those things. But we are supposed to be away from all those things. That's the reason that about David and about other people, it is written in the Bible. You know, there was a, there was a I mean, man, he was asking one question to me once that, okay, I don't like to read Psalms because the Psalms are written by David. Oh, David was a sinful person and he was doing that sin, he was doing this sin and all these things. You know, our children has this problem, this uh, I mean, question. You know, David was doing that and David was doing this. I don't uh, want to read uh, the, the Psalms because it is written by David. Then I gave the answer, no, it is written by David. But at the same time, he was explaining his experience. That he was going through this difficult situation. He was going through this weakness in his life. He was going through this sinful situation. But he repented about his sins. And he came back to God. And he was writing the Psalms. You know, that is the reason that we are 
seeing and we are reading in the bible these people did this and you are not supposed to do that and this is a warning for us i mean so that is what i was just thinking there are people that against the the the, the existence of god and also that they are saying there is no creator at all there is no creator at all automatically everything came into being no it won't happen you know how it happens you know the universe is automatically came big bang theory says that explosion was there from where did this explosion came I mean before that what was happening you know we have to think about you know it is everything is happening by god I mean we believers I mean we believe that I mean god I mean Jesus Christ is the creator of all these things hallelujah even though the science is perverted already let us be standing for god jesus christ that we are saying that we believe in science at the same time we believe in the bible hallelujah praise the lord and the second one the second perversion is happening in the governmental laws and judiciary systems you know already the the the, the corrupted and perverted government that we are seeing in even in proverbs chapter 18 verse 5 you know already it is written in the bible you know whatever happens in today outside maybe in the present generation you know that that we are we are, we are just thinking about what is the speciality of the present generation outside then only we will be able to stand for jesus christ stand for jesus christ okay the corrupted and perverted government and judiciary system also is corrupted today you know the authoritative people those on the position you know they are not able to keep and they are supposed to keep the laws but now they are not able to keep the laws they are violating the laws okay this is happening outside you know the governmental people you know the judges and the judiciary people they are violating the laws now they made the laws and they are supposed to keep the law but they are violating today but we understand in in proverbs chapter 18 verse 5 it is written it is not good to show partiality to the wicked by perverting the justice of innocent people of the innocent people nirapradhigalayittulla aalkar sincere aayittulla aalkarude nyayate endu yenu avar marichu kalayana avar marichu kalayana that means it says that you know solomon says it is not good to show partiality to the wicked you know the the governmental people the political people they are showing partiality to the innocent people and also partiality to the wicked people they are supposed to they are supposed to give i mean judgment for the wicked people but they are keeping safe the wicked people and they are making judgment upon the innocent people okay so this is happening outside so we are you know we used to pray for every date and we used to pray for every people but at the same time our responsibility is that you know if you have uh, you are given a position if you have a position in your stand i mean you are you are supposed to stand for jesus christ okay we will move forward okay we have no enough time to explain all those things because we have the youth programs and all okay now the, the next one third one the gender is perverted the gender is perverted how how can it comes you know think about all these things you know i cannot um, and speak all these things today because i know this is a you know contradictory subject and uh, it's a confusion there are many confusions in that and there will be many questions also i'm not going for that at the same time you know it's, it is written the gender is perverted you know god was making the man he created them genders were there two man and woman or male and female it is written in genesis chapter 1 verse 27 so god created man can in his own image in the image of god he created them male and female he created them now how many genders are there lord of several 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 you know you we cannot i mean utter those i mean terms also you know there are many other genders are there at the same time think about now when god was creating man he created in his own image and as two men gender male and female okay again in romans chapter 9 verse 20 that we are reading who are you a mere human being to argue with god should the thing that was created say to the one who created it why have you made me like this 
You know, there are people asking to God and there are people, you know, they are giving back answer to God and saying, hey, you say that you made us, eh? God, creator, you, you say that you made us and you created us and why have you created in this way? You know, there is an answer for that. Because the people are thinking, you know, everything is done by God. Okay, all these things are happening because of God. No, all these things are happening not because of God, only because of the sinful nature of people. You know, you know, uh, you know once uh, one man was saying, the evil also created by God create evil. Okay, that's a question. We will we'll find the answer for maybe later. We have no time today. You know, God made everything. God made something and created something. Oh my God. God created something and he said, good, 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 good. Only one thing that God said, not, not, no, he didn't say anything about man. After creating man, he did not say, oh, I look good. Because he was knowing that, you know, these people are corrupted and these people are having many things in their mind and they are sinful. And that could be the reason that today many things are happening outside. We cannot blame God. And um, these things are happening only because, you know, we, we, sometimes we are saying, okay, why this is happening in that family? Why this is happening in that, uh, I mean, society, in that community? And uh, what is the answer for that? And uh, why God is not doing anything? You know, God made everything beautiful. God made everything good. But the people are diverting from there. That is called perversion. And so in gender also, we see the perversion is happening. You know, even in Matthew chapter 19, verses 3 and 4, we are reading that when Jesus was answering to the Pharisees' question, and he said, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female? You know, God was having a clear idea about when he was making and creating the human being. But we'll skip that point. Again, next one. The political word, the fourth one. The political word is corrupted and perverted. You know, always the politis politicians today, they are fighting to get a chance of position or fame or money and their intention is not to save the people today. The political people, they are not, I mean, their intention is not serving people. You know, there are, in, even in Kerala, also there are many people, there are political leaders are there. They are always, I mean, I mean uh, going to the house by house and asking them, okay, uh, give me one board, give me one board, okay, board like that, okay? But they are saying, okay, we'll give you board. And next, maybe, maybe three years or after five years or something, they will come to that house again. Okay, and they will agree that okay, we are done, we are done, and we will do something for you, and we will do something for you only because they need to get the position. So, this is politics today. You know, politicians are perverted from the word of God that is happening outside. Next one the concept of family in Bible is perverted, it is not, I mean, perverted by God, but it is perverted by the human being. That means there is no unity in family. No one is respecting each other. There is fight between, I mean, I mean, husband and wife. I mean, parents and kids. There is no obedience at all in families. Even in Christian families also, there are a lot of problems. There are a lot of, I mean, quarreling is there. Fighting is there. There is no obedience. You know, the children are not obeying. That's the reason in Proverbs chapter 5 verse 15. It says that, be faithful to your own wife and give your love to her alone. That means many other sinful things are happening in the families today in the present generation. Hallelujah. But we people, I mean, we are called as the believers. We are called as the children of God. We are supposed to be faithful in our family. We are supposed to be faithful in our family. We have some responsibility and we are supposed to be faithful with our spouse. We are supposed to be faithful with our spouse. And that is what the Bible says. And even in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1, it says that children obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. That is the word of God. Hallelujah. Children obey your parents and that is right. No, there are many things which is written right, 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 right. And that is absolutely right because Bible never say any lies. 
when always bible is correct and bible is i mean good and uh, it is upright and uh, we are supposed to be leading into that uprightness hallelujah and again the spiritual world also is corrupted you know it is perverted to even in Jer- yeah jeremiah chapter 23 verse 36 it seems that you each have your own ideas so if you say here is the word from the lord you are twisting my words into a lie remember that i am your god and the lord of all powerful you know there is a god who is all powerful but you know jeremiah the prophet is saying that i mean it seems that you have your own ideas and you are saying here is the word of the from the lord and you are twisting my words that is the that is the real meaning of perversion okay perversion means twisting okay bending okay or distortion is happening so these things are happening because they have their own ideas even the spiritual leaders also the church leaders also are perverting the people of god from the reality hallelujah so i mean let me let me tell you one thing the elc people the elc i mean families let's stand for jesus christ shining for jesus christ as a light in this world Hallelujah. Amen. And there are a lot of areas. A lot of areas. And uh, we, will, we will skip all those things and we will go to the last one. The last one. Last one. Or uh, the, the pro yourselves that you are. Yeah. No. Next one. Yeah. This one. Uh, bef- before that. Yeah. This one. Who we are amid this perverted generation. Philippians chapter 2 verse 15 says that you are supposed to prove in the midst of them that you are blameless. You are innocent. You are children of God. You appear as light in the world. I'm closing my message today. Listen. You know, that was the verse that we read in the beginning. You know, what was that? You know, we are supposed to prove ourselves. We know what is the situation of the present generation outside. We know, I mean, what is happening, the corruption, how the corruption is happening outside. How the, the crookedness is happening outside. How the perversion is happening outside in the present generation. But our people, our children, let us pray for them. Hallelujah. Let them stand for Jesus Christ. Because that very clearly says that you are supposed to prove in the midst of those people. That is important. What is that? Oh, we are blameless in the presence of God in the midst of that generation. We are innocent in the presence of God in the midst of that generation. We are the children of God. In the presence of God before this generation, and we are supposed to appear as light in the world. Read, I mean, the next next slide also, and we will close. Acts chapter 2, verse 40. Acts chapter 2, verse 40 says that then Peter continued preaching for a long time, strongly urging all his listeners, serve yourselves from this crooked generation. Save yourselves. We know that we are the saved people. But now, this is the time that we are supposed to be saved from the crooked generation. From the perverted generation. From the corrupted generation. We are not supposed to be corrupted people. We are not supposed to be crooked people. We are not supposed to be perverted people. Rather, we are are the children of God and we are supposed to shine for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are the light in this world. We are the light in this world. Hallelujah. Shall we close our eyes in the presence of God and pray together. Hallelujah. 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 This morning as we were listening from the word of God I mean, many of the things about the I mean, situations of the present generation. Hallelujah. The present generation is corrupted and uh, I mean perverted from the presence of God, from the word of God. At the same time, let us pray that, oh Lord, uh, we are praying for our children. We are praying for our young adults. Hallelujah. We are praying for all our adults and everyone, those who are attending in our church. Hallelujah. So that, uh, I mean, they will be blameless in the presence of God. I mean, in the midst of the, I mean, crooked generation, our people will be standing for the Lord. uh, I mean, just like a light in the world. Hallelujah. That's the reason that God has called us. And he said, you are the light of this world. Hallelujah. You have the responsibility. And we have the responsibility. We are not supposed to mingle with uh, all other present generation. I mean outside. But we are supposed to stand for Jesus Christ uh, as the light for the world. 
Hallelujah. Let's shine for the, uh, for, for the Lord. Let's shine in the midst of the I mean, crooked generation. And uh, let's pray together that I mean, the Lord will I mean, help us to move forward I mean, according to the I mean, word of God this morning, I mean, these days. Hallelujah. Let's all I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, give us the mighty hand of God. And I request uh, I mean, uh, Brother George to lead us in prayer according to the word of God this morning. Meditating the word of God.